If you believe in the year 2019, it was revealed in the Ipsos poll that 46% of Americans believe in ghosts. In this survey, 7% of the people also accepted that they also believe in vampires. Ghost stories exist in every religion, also appear in the literature. Many people believe in paranormal things. They share their experiences of coming back near death, believes in life after death, talks with spirits. Many people have been claiming to talk to ghosts and spirits for centuries. Ghost clubs have been formed in famous universities like Cambridge and Oxford. The Society for Physical Research was formed in 1882 to study ghosts and spirits. The president and investigator of this society was a woman named Eleanor Mildred Sidgwick. She was called the real female ghostbuster. In America, a lot of research and work was done on ghosts in the late 1800s. But later it turned out that its main investigator, Harry Houdini, is a fraud. Scientifically, research on ghosts becomes difficult because according to information about them strange and unexpected incidents happen in a surprising way during suspect of existence of ghost. For example, Doors opening or closing themselves, missing keys, appearance of a dead relative, shadows walking on the road. Etc. Sociologists Dennis D. Vaskul and Michelle Vaskul wrote a book in the year 2016. The name of the book was Ghostly Encounters. The Hauntings of Everyday Life. They wrote stories on the incident of appearance of ghosts experienced by many people. It was revealed in this book that many people were not convinced that they had actually seen a ghost or whether this paranormal AI supernatural process has happened or not. Because the kind of things they saw does not match the traditional ghost image. Most people said that they have felt things and events that are difficult to define. These were mysterious, scary or shocking. But the images of ghosts were not seen in them. People name ghosts according to their own accord, such as poltergeists, scary ghosts, residual hauntings, residual ghosts, intelligent spirits, and shadow people. From these names it seems that humans have created many species of ghosts which do not have a fixed number. They keep on changing according to different person. When we think about ghosts in the language of science, the first thing that comes to mind is whether they are objects or not. That is, can they pass through solids without spoiling or can they open or close doors themselves or can they throw something from one room to another? There are many controversies regarding these things. If we think logically from the formula of physics, then the question arises that if ghosts are human souls then why do they appear in clothes? Why do they have sticks, hats and clothes in their hands? According to traditional beliefs, the spirits of those who are killed, sometimes their souls get the matter investigated by making someone a medium to take revenge identify the killers. But whether this is true or not, questions remain on this.
because there is no logical reason for ghosts. Ghost hunters adopt different methods to catch or kill ghosts, so that the presence of ghosts and spirits can be detected. Most of the methods are scientific. State-of-the-art machines are used to see the ghosts and check their presence. The most popular of these machines are Geiger counters, electromagnetic field detectors, iron detectors, infrared cameras and sensitive microphones. But till date the ghosts have not been caught or seen properly in any of these instruments. For centuries, it is believed that the flames turn blue in the presence of ghosts. But this is not the truth. Most of the blue light comes out of the LPG gas of the house. So do ghosts come out of the cylinder or do ghosts live in your kitchen? At present, scientists believe that there is no such technology by which the presence of ghosts, their size or behavior can be detected. But the question also arises that often people running, smiling, peeping, scared ghosts are seen in photographs or videos. Their recordings are with the people and also with the scientists. Recordings of their voices are also with the people. If there are ghosts, then scientists need strong evidence to investigate them, which is not there at the moment. Now ghost apps have also come in smartphones, through which you can create scary pictures. You can share them on social media. With these, you can present a fictional story by telling a real incident to which the trust in ghosts increases further. But after doing research in a scientific way, it is revealed that you have cheated people by to create such pictures or videos the help of the app. After all, why do people believe in ghosts? The great scientist Albert Einstein gave a theory of modern physics on the existence of ghosts. This was the first law of thermodynamics. That is, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only change its form. So what happens to the energy released from the body? Does the energy released from the body change its form? Does the body's energy end after death? It goes somewhere else or it changes its form and becomes a ghost. For this you do not need to go to any complicated theory of Albert Einstein. The answer is quite simple. After the death of your body, its energy goes to the same place where the energy of the body of other living beings comes out after death. The place is the environment around you. This energy is released in the form of heat. Because after death, the body of most living beings remains as it is. They are not cremated. They become food for insects. Insects. Dead body eating creatures and plants and trees. There is no such physical energy that can survive after death or remain in your body. No ghost catcher, occultist or ghost hunter can see or stop it. Such people consider themselves to be supernatural. They deliberately do such drama as if they have seen or caught ghosts. But in reality they cannot do it because the energy emanating from a body is so small and short in this universe that it cannot be caught. There is no shortage of such energies in our environment. Do ghosts really exist or not? Is it just energy or something else? 
Nothing has been scientifically proven about it. There is need to be research in a controlled environment about them. But there is no need for the help of those people who fool people by calling themselves ghost hunters, exorcists, tantrums. Why ghost hunters have not been able to catch or see them. Despite having millions of pictures, videos and audios, there can be two reasons behind this. First, that ghosts do not exist. This is just a thinking of people's mind. Second, there are ghosts. But we do not have scientific methods which can confirm their existence. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video please hit like button, subscribe this channel and hit bell icon to get notified whenever we will upload our next video.